Hey guys, Universal here, back for another video. In today's video, we will be covering the new mini update of Fruit Battlegrounds. We have the new Love Love Fruit. As you can see from this little logo that they made, it's pretty nice. This is the fruit right here. Let's go ahead and go to the spin fruit category so you guys can see the fruit in my inventory. You already know we have six of them because in this new update, we actually got a new free inventory slot, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be free, but don't quote me on that. Anyways, um, Love is a really good and strong fruit. And anyways, you know, if you're here for my show, Showcases, you know how I do these. I'm going to get into the showcase, get into the bread and butter combo that you usually want to follow, and then we'll get into the PvP, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, if you would love to see your inventory look like this, pun intended, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, let's get into the video. All right, first off in the moveset, we have Cupid's Arrow. You pull out a love bow and shoot out auto tracking arrows with medium range. This skill does have the option to be held, increasing the number of arrows for the attack, causing it to deal more damage. This skill is completely blockable, dealing 54 damage with no charge and 163 damage with full arrow charges, which is six. Next up, we have our second skill, Bouquet of Pain. You summon a flower bouquet, which you then throw, traveling at a medium speed before exploding into flowers when it meets an object or surface. This skill should be block breaking on a release and currently deals 105 damage. Next up, we have a first of a kind in Fruit Battlegrounds. We have a healing move. You summon a floating heart which will heal all players inside for around 600 health total if they're in there for the entire duration of the skill. This skill cannot be used to heal bosses, so don't even think about going and trolling. Next up, we have probably, in my opinion, what's the best skill in your kit. This is Heartstring. This is more like a reskin mole pistol, except for the fact that you must hold the skill until it reaches your opponent. This skill comes with medium to forest range and is unblockable, though it can be dodged by running away from the person using the skill. This skill deals 155 damage at the time of recording, but hopefully on release it should do a little bit less. All right, and now for our last skill, our quote unquote ultimate, you have Blossom Wind. You spin around summoning a whirlwind of hearts and wind, which you then throw at your opponent, dragging them along before exploding. The initial part of the skill is unblockable. The explosion of the skill itself is a guard break and the wind funnel itself is blockable completely. Anyways, the skill does 174 damage at max level when you hit the entire thing. Now, the bread and butter combo for this fruit is very interchangeable, but the combo that I like to do most of the time is starting with my bouquet of uh, freaking pain. Then after that, I like to get my arrows or my whirlwind, and then you use either one. It's interchangeable which one you do. Then after that, you want to finish it up with your four skill, and this will be the highest damage and combo you can really get out of the fruit. This is more of a fruit that is sufficient in comboing, like combo starting, but not really like getting a one really high damage and combo. All right, guys, this fight is recorded pre-bouquet of pain nerf, but, you know, the show must go on and I have to get these videos recorded for you guys, so it'll be ready for the showcase for when it drops. So anyways, we'll go ahead and punish him, like literally putting out his clone in the first place. We'll go for Heartstring to start it off, and then Blossom Win right here to throw that at him. He tries to punish me right there, but he doesn't get anything off of it. Uh, I'll charge six arrows right here. What are you gonna go for? And I'm eating his ult. There's nothing I can do about that, but he does eat all of my arrows right there, so that's pretty good damage. I'll throw a bouquet of pain. I went for the bouquet of pain just to, like, freaking counter his clone. I'll sit on my side of my thing so I can heal a little bit. Uh, Cupid's arrow. What are you going to go for? What are you going to go for? What are you going to go for? Nice overheat whip. I mean, I'm pretty sure I take the sun trade there. Or I don't, but I went for hard string. I shouldn't have went for hard string. Oh, you're going to pay for that. Blossom wind catches there. Okay, then I go for Bouquet of Pain, then I charge the arrows, 
Now you can release it after two arrows in his true combo, but my real goal here, and that's gonna make me just kill his clone. Yeah, that's just gonna make me straight up kill his clone. And by the way, we're gonna be going up the, oh, I can hit you with hard strength for that. Yeah, you're gonna regret that. But freaking, I'm gonna go up the rarity. So this first fight's gonna be an epic fruit. The next fight's gonna be a legendary fruit. And the last fight is gonna be the soul, soul, no me. Snipe him out of the air with this. That's auto tracking completely. Throw a blossom right there. I, of course I completely missed, but the hitbox of the freaking AOE explosion is huge. Um, all right, we're in a good spot. Now I just charge some arrows right here. We fire this at the clone. The clone's basically dead. So we'll go ahead and kill the clone with heart string. Nice, I just lagged right there, but it's okay. Uh, unless I get caught by this. Okay, this is gonna drag me back in. By the way, String did get some buffs, so you could basically true combo the old after that now. Like, it has a lot of stun, but I don't know why he waited so long right there. Uh, ooh, but the old also kinda has, like, not iframes, but it's like semi iframes. Anyways, Heart String. Nice, now he is too slow to, like, actually have any good movement. This is when you put down your heal, and it's not working because there's a bug right now where you can't overheal. But anyways, I still take that first round. GG, GG. Now we'll get on to fighting a legendary. All right, here we go, guys. We got our second matchup against a legendary. We'll be fighting Phoenix, and Phoenix got some buffs in this recent update. Hawk Rush became way faster and gained way more stun. And not only that, it, like Phoenix is just oppressive, man. If a Phoenix gets near you, like my goal is to stall out his mode. But also, they recently changed um, how um, 1v1s work now, and you can actually gain your mode back during the uh, 1v1s now, guys. So it's really good. How did I miss? How did I miss? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Fire Cupid arrows. Blossom wind right there. The blossom wind just didn't work. Nice. Nice. It hit the wall. It hit the wall. Heart strings. Nice. Okay. We go well. Ah, I could have went for Cupid arrows right there. I won't lie. I won't lie. Okay, he runs away from me, so I'm gonna put this up. I'll take I'll take my fat little heel. I'll take my fat little heel while you run away from me. All right, forces me out of my little cupid area. We'll go ahead and charge six arrows. So now if he pushes me, he has to deal with six arrows. Fire those. Fire this. It hits him midair, but we're both kind of stunned. Ooh, but I landed my blossom win. We're gonna hold the entire thing. Nice. Then we're gonna go for heart string right afterwards. Nice. Then we're gonna fire the cupid arrows. They did auto track, but unfortunately they did not hit. Bouquet of pain. Unfortunately, he hits me with this stupid skill, which makes it almost impossible to hit Bouquet of Pain. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's he cooking with? What's he cooking with? Okay, I go for Cupid's Arrow. I'm just spamming it because of auto aim. Why did he go for that? Why? This does so much damage. Uh, Heartstrings, you can't run away from it. And it's unblockable. You love to see it. Bouquet of Pain. My aim is horrendous. We go for Cupid's Arrow. He's getting pretty close. And right there, release that. Uh, I don't think I win the stun trade, but I can just run away now. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I just lag. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Uh, unfortunately, there is currently a... Ooh, ooh, I'm getting the heartthrob heals. Okay, good. Hold this five skill and launch him away. Nice. And heartstring, and we just barely take that W. We just barely take that W. Anyways, we'll do one more legendary fruit and then one mythical fruit. All right, here we go. Now we're moving on to the mythicals instead of another legendary. My bad, guys. We're going to do leopard, and then we're going to finish it off with the good old soul, soul, no move. Um, This leopard does have experience fighting this fruit, so we'll see what he does. Uh, that's not blockable currently, but hopefully that gets changed to a block break once the freaking uh, update actually releases. That's a mean Roku gun. I'm not going to lie. That is a mean Roku gun. But you don't have your two skills, so I'm just going to... Uh, where did my blossom of white wind go? Where did my blossom of wind go? No, well, he missed his ult, so I missed my ult, so it's all fair. He can detransform in there and he'll start gaining mode back, actually, because of the recent changes that make 1v1 so much better now, because you can now regain your mode when you're in base, which makes, oh my god, it's so good, bro. It's so good. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this going, because I can't, I can't allow him to just gain back mode. Heart string, undodgeable. Not in this collo. Not, you can't dodge it in the collo. The collo is too small to be able to run away from it. Okay, I missed my one skill, but I'm going to charge this, let this go, because he's going to try to hit me with something stupid. Blossom win, nice. Okay, I want to go for M1s, but I won't. I was kind of just trying to bait him to do something there. Okay, I'm going to block the claw barrage, run away, keep it there while he's pushing me. And that's a dumb rope gun. Also, my frames are dropping like hell. Oh, he missed, but he still hit, but my frames are dropping, but I, wh wh where is he? He got inside of the wall, and it 
<laughs> bro, what the hell? <laughs> anyways, anyways, I'm going to charge my one skill here. I don't want to eat a Roku gun. Watch this. He's going to let go block right here. Nice, nice. Doesn't really do anything for me, though. I just got a bunch of damage off. We're going to go for Blossom Wind since he's directly beneath me. Nice. Heartstring. He's eating that. Cupid's Arrow. He's eating that. And Bouquet of Pain. Unblockable as of right now. I will say that every time because, you know, obviously I... Oh, I should have blocked. Why did I let go of block? Why did I let... I was going to... I was... I, like, I tried to, like... I got the brainwave to dodge last second, but I should have just kept holding that. Uh, okay. I'll let him come over and claw barrage me if he wants to. Because if this wall wasn't going to get a claw barrage. Nice. Please tell me you aim the other way. Nice. The luck of James. He dunks me right here. But you don't have claw barrage anymore. So you need a blossom win combo right there. Heartstrings. Unless I'm, my aim is terrible. But it doesn't matter if my aim is terrible. Because easy auto tracking. No aim move. And of course I missed that. But here's the, here's the part that gets really nice. When your opponent is slowed. You put up a heartthrob. Hey, look at my health, guys. Look at my health. What can he do about it? Nice Roku guy. Well, actually, it was a great Roku guy. And actually, my opponent almost just started stealing my healing. Anyways, he's out of mode now. So, uh, heartstring, undodgeable, and I take that W. All right, and now we're on to the final boss, Soul, which did get nerfed. So, we'll see how I do against it. All right, guys, it's time for the boss fight of the video. We got the Soul Soul Fruit, which did recently get nerfed. Crimson Pillar is now blockable like everybody has been begging for it to be. And there are a bunch of other nerfs, but I literally can't remember all of them. But I'll just snipe him with my freaking uh, 5 for now. Um, I'm going to start with the Cubaderos to try to punish that. Unfortunately, I missed, but I'll just run away here. Heartstrings, nice. He won't be able to dodge this. Nice. Okay, a pain. I missed. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Please spare me. And so it starts. Mink, 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 mink. And so it starts. Uh, I'm going to stun. Ooh, I tried to trade it with Blossom Wind. The ult should be uh, being made uncomboable afterwards for Soul pretty soon. Because the fact that the ult does combo is like extremely stupid on Soul. But hey, we'll see. We'll see. It might get added. It might not get added. Anyways, ooh, I'm going to hold this. Fire those. Nice. I get some stun off those. Heartstring. Nice. Nice. We're getting some good damage. Freaking bouquet. And I should have blocked. GG. Me, 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 me. And I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I literally need to go back and heal with Heart Frog if I want any chance on it. Okay. I stun traded him a little bit right there. Okay. I'm going to snipe with my ult. Heart Throb. Okay. Bouquet. And I'm lagging. And I lagged. I lagged so hard, man. There was, like, nothing I could do to read that. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> he turned around and faced me so slowly. <laughs> no. Yeah, soul is still soul. Um, Okay, for an epic versus a mythic and for how we're trying to balance the game to make these all, like, closer fights, that was a pretty good fight for me. I think we'll be nerfing the range of Enthrall Grass just because of how dumb it is. I'm not going to lie. But other than that, I think Soul's pretty much fine on the balance changes. We just need to, you know, nerf Enthrall Grasp range and, you know, make Mazer Cannon not combo extend because that's extremely dumb. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. I wish you luck on getting Love the Love through. Obviously, it's not that hard because it's it's like a 0.61, which is like, that's a low chance, but it's only an epic compared to the legendaries and mythics we've been getting. But anyways, I wish you guys the best of luck. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.